Hey guys, it's Silver Snorlax and I am back today. Day two of the Hartford Regionals Collectors event. I wanted to do a quick walk around of the Mini Museum. I know I'd already posted something online, but we didn't have any product in the cases yet and we finally have product in the case. I wanted to show you all the cool stuff that's in the museum. So we have a, duck down and take a look at it. We have first edition Zard there in the case. We have a first edition sealed booster box as well. And then this is kind of a unique product. This is something I was actually not aware of, but this is actually a box that was distributed out to brick and mortar stores. Uh, it was kind of the like the demo box, kind of the introduction to the game. It had a couple things in there. It had a couple posters. I think it had like a theme deck, um, a couple booster packs, stuff like that. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, that actually predates trainer deck A and B. In this case, we have a lot of error cards, including miscut and off-center, uh, the wrong evolution for War Turtle, War Turtle evolved from War Turtle. This is the uh, lowercase d first edition Butterfree. Here we have, let's see if I can get a good, good photo of it. This is actually a gray stamp Hitmonchan to the right compared to the normal on the left. No HP Dark Persian. I know that's a, a big one. A lot of people really like that card. And this is an upside down printed stamp uh, Pikachu card. The movie promo. You can actually see it right, right below the attack where it says Thunderbolt on the left hand side. You'll see that that stamp is upside down. Moving on. A couple of fun things here. Uh, in the back that's actually a four position only Charizard. And then these are cool. I actually didn't know these existed. These horizontal cards um, were supposed to be from the minifigure game. They came out years and years ago. They were actually going to do two sets of them. But the second set that they did, they did a first set, set that was mass produced and sent out to market. But the second set never hit the market. And this is some of the cards from the second set. Moving over, we've got some really cool trophy cards. I believe these are... 2014 2013 so number four all the way up to number one and this is 2014 on this side the full arts super cool in this one we have some of your standout cards from various sets these are various charizards some chase cards this is a nine first edition nine uh, and then all kinds of different stuff Shining Zard, EX Dragon, that's a national champ's so EX Dragon as a matter of fact. Up here we have Stormfront. Down here something a little more mo modern, some Burning Shadows. Crystal Zard. That's a Gold Star Charizard. And Plasma Storm Charizard as well. I'd like to point out every card in this case is a PSA 10 with the exception of the first edition base Charizard in the upper left hand corner. And then here we actually just have a real, I don't want to say generic setup, but um, just an open binder with lots of Japanese promos. A couple things I'm actually not familiar with myself. Some winner's promo cards. And I, I looked at that binder before. That binder is fairly full. This is just two sets of pages. Wanted to show you. So all in all, there's, a, <laughs> there's actually a lot of money here. Um, but really cool stuff. It's it's so different to see it in person. I, you can look at pictures of stuff online all day, but it's just not the same to see it in person. So um, super happy to be here. Super happy to upload the museum for those of you who couldn't make it. Thanks for watching, guys.